Name is John C. Hello. Can you hear me? Yep. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you too. Okay, you're all right. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice. nice to meet you too. I feel like there's something on my camera. Uh oh. How do I say your name? Is it Joelson? Yeah, yeah, you're pretty right. My name is Joelson and I'm from. Can you guess it? <laughs> Well, I know you're from Brazil. Um, I imagine you're probably from Sao Paulo. How do you know that I'm from Brazil? Because I, I'm married to a Brazilian. I know Brazilians like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm from Brazil. and I live in the, in the northeast part of Brazil in a ah. city called Natal. Okay, I'm familiar with Natal. Yeah, in the north. And have you ever been? Have you ever visited uh, the northeast part of Brazil? No, not yet. I um, we we're planning to travel this year, but um, we haven't made our destination yet. So maybe to the northeast. We'll see. It depends yeah. on coronavirus. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I actually, uh, I was born in another city, Salvador. Salvador uh, I thought you were a Bayano. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I, I have been living here since 2007. Why did you move there? Love story. <laughs> I won't judge. I met... I met a girl on on internet and uh, we got married uh, a couple of years. We broke up and uh, I'm still living here. <laughs> a couple wow. of years later, a we broke up and I'm still living here. <laughs> because uh, I fell in love for the city, you know, and uh, yeah, I don't want to go back to my, my city, Salvador, you know, just I prefer to stay here in Natal. Because it's a Why? it's a really beautiful because I, I it's a beautiful city you know I'm kind of what is the word settle up settle for settle down settle down yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I settle down here it's, uh, it's good to live here mm -hmm. yeah I don't oh Jesus my typing today is terrible settled <laughs> no um, got that yeah I just you know because uh. <laughs> I'm so into phrasal verb and that I have a lot in my mind. So sometimes I got confused when I have to use settle down, settle for, you know, that's mm -hmm. why I do it. Yeah, phrasal verbs are super difficult. Super, super yes. difficult. You must have been, you've been speaking for a long time then. When did you start learning English? When did I start in English? Um, actual English came along in 2008 when I started working uh, with uh, programmers, you know, software, software. Uh, mm -hmm. Because I, I am a software developer, you know. I was going to say, I thought so. In that, yeah, that, and I had to, to deal with, you know, codes that uh, written in English and, uh, mm -hmm. and I had to, to study English and since then I've been studying like regularly I mean sorry I'm lying <laughs> in the beginning I was a little bit um, like a difficult in my studies you know I kind of took English for granted but I but I really uh, started studying hard when I tried to talk to a native speaker and uh, you know, I get that, 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 that. it's mm -hmm. bothering me a lot. Mm -hmm. I thought to myself, what? What are you doing, Joel? So you took an English course and you can string a sentence together. And I, 
can I have this epiphany and no, no, I have to change my studies, my, you know, my way to, to deal with English. And uh, yeah. after that, it was in 2014, you know, I, I tried to, to be more uh, dedicated uh, in my studies. Okay, so in 2014, you got very serious about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. because you know we, we had the, the the World Cup here in Brazil. Uh, my city Natal was one of the the host cities, and we had a lot of Americans here because United States played here. The football team United States played here. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And. Now, are you, where do you, who do you work for as a software developer? Do, are you a contractor or do you work for a, com a specific company? Uh, actually, my, my office is right there, Expert okay. Informatica. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I work in that company. Uh, right now, I am uh, in my lunch break. That's why mm -hmm. I'm here talking to you. Try mm -hmm. to squeeze this class in my lunch break and uh, yeah so you're able to go to work presentially mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah is the situation with coronavirus in natal better than it is in the rest of brazil or how is it going there well the, we're still having these icu bad problems you know because uh, mm -hmm. we have the, the line to the people find uh, a use ECU bad is quite bad, mm -hmm. but I think we are not that bad compared to Sao Paulo, Rio, or your state, Minas. Mm -hmm. But um, there are some the the, the local government mm -hmm. placed. Uh, curfew after 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, but business, fortunately, and thank God, are opened. Mm -hmm. And we can, you know, try to experience this, you know, sense of <clears throat> normality. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, it's so strange because. Um, all the businesses are cl were closed in Minas and or they had shorter hours and I thought that that was just a really stupid way to handle it um, mm -hmm. you know and I, I don't know how it is in Natal I don't know what your demographic is but where I live it's very small and it seems like the majority of the people who are dying from the coronavirus have are very old and and or have pretty bad health like pretty poor health um mm -hmm. yeah is it like that in natal though or is it different well i think that's what you said i think it's one of the the virus idiosyncrasy they 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 got um, in those people that have some problems, no mm -hmm. health problems. Mm -hmm. But yeah, for example, I I, I had uh, you know this not a client, but it is someone that worked with my client, mm -hmm. and uh, he was a little bit um, overweight, you know, and unfortunately he passed away. But he was young. He was young, you know. Sure, sure. But but if you're uh, obese. You know, Obesity yeah, is yeah. horrible, horrible. For example, I try, you know, to get health. You know, I love go to the gym. Mm -hmm. You know, to jog. Are you worried? To be... Are you worried about it? Then I mean, I, I mean, you as a healthy person, do you worry about getting the virus as much as somebody who's like older and fatter? Not at all. Not at all. Not okay. Not Actually, I, I got the, 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 the COVID. Mm -hmm. My wife and I you know, got infected two months ago. And uh, I was one of those um, as, um, asymptomatic yes. you know, person. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't 
show any symptoms. You Good know? for my, you. My, my wife, my wife though she she had fever. Uh, her her body was uh, a little bit um, like if she were hit mm -hmm. by a car. You know, like oh my my my, my joints are hurting. But thank God, you know, she 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 got. I think this uh, is her recovery. Theory spell uh, her achy. body wise achy achy. <laughs> ah, it's without oh, the e. A C H Y. <laughs> Take the e out. Achy. Uh huh. Oh, uh, you're pretty funny, it's, teacher. <laughs> I have to ask Siri because sometimes you don't know, and you're like, oh, like I'm. I have a great vocabulary. But the spelling sometimes, sometimes. Oh yeah, we, you know, we are on the same page. Mm -hmm. The other day, I tried to spell something in Portuguese, and that was, and that was like, oh my god, how can I spell that? <laughs> you know? Yes. Uh, because we can, we are able to say it, but when it's coming to spelling, I don't know. It seems like our brain freeze. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when you don't use it or spell it all the time. Sometimes you're like, wait a minute, how do I spell that? <laughs> like it's so confusing. So no, but it's without the e, achy. It's a weird word, but achy. Mm -hmm. Achy. achy. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's, achy. that's a new word. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so I love I love learning new. Oh, words. there's so many. There's so that's the one thing I've I've learned about Portuguese to English is that. It Portuguese has a lot of words, but we only use a very limited amount of them. In Portuguese? Yeah, at least Mineiros. 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 Yeah, I think Mineiros are well, horrible have, with language. I have this, I have this feeling uh, with you guys, English really? speakers. Yeah, because, for example, uh, you guys have the the propensity to use a lot of phrasal verbs mm -hmm. and if you look up for a synonym there are a lot of good synonyms for a phrasal verb but you prefer to use a phrasal verb you know what i mean yeah and i feel like mm. and I, I always talk to my american friend and she she told me that because americans like to make something simple easier that's why they say a phrasal verb mm -hmm. why do i have to think uh, hard work when I have this word here to say the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> and up that it makes it more confusing. But though, you know, I think. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I like to learn. You know, as a student, I have to learn new words. You know, look up for good word to 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 embed it in my vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Oh, totally, totally. Where do you usually look for your new vocabulary? dictionary really yeah oh my god i have a lot of dictionary uh actually i i shared your profile with my friend marcelo you guys have talked already marcelo i have a regular marcelo, marcelo. Uh, you know, this, um, he has a youtube channel time to speak i don't know if i spoke with him yet I've had I've had three people with YouTube channels contact me recently, but I'll keep my eye out for him because uh, I have three uh, people in the works right now that want to post them. So yeah, anything I can do to help you, no worries. Sure. Thank you so much for this amazing conversation. I have so many questions to ask. Yeah, next time, I uh, hope to talk to you. Likewise, I my friends. Those questions.